Good morning, good morning, good morning. Father, thank you for the gift of a Monday. Thank you for an exciting, expectant week. Thank you for your love towards us. Thank you for last week. Thank you for showing us, Lord, that you are the giver. Thank you and thank you again. Even as we are entering this new week, we begin to decree and declare that is a week of victory. It's a week to overcome. It's a week of joy unspeakable. It's a week when we overcome. It's a week when we make it to the top, to the next level. It's a week, Father, where we expand and increase like never before. In the name of Jesus, we agree with your word that this is the day that you have made. We are rejoicing. We choose joy and no other place but joy view. No other address but joy view. We use the weapon of joy to overcome every obstacle. And at the end of this day, at the end of this week, we will be shouting, Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Daddy. Our week is blessed. Our week is outstanding. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen, amen, amen. What a blessing to be seeing a new week. What a blessing to be stepping into new things, new anointings. Oh, what a blessing to be at the verge of the next conference. Amen. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so prepared. Listen this morning we're continuing our series who is god who is god i know as of now you must have learned some new things right he said he was going to unveil himself and guess what i know he has because this is the fourth week of the month you have definitely known him in a new way in a different way this week we're going to focus on intimacy somebody say intimacy intimacy the question i want us to be able to answer by the end of this week is that can i be intimate with god who is god a god of intimacy who is daddy a father that you can be intimate with amen never never listen to those that say it's hard to understand God now we're not talking about mental comprehension or understanding to the point of intimacy no we're talking about experiential he said it is possible to know him but that's not saying you know everything about him right we're talking about getting a certain amount of in, uh, knowledge to the point of intimacy where you can walk and interact and fellowship with him it is very possible look at jesus in what we call the lord's prayer he said our father who is in heaven look at the story of the prodigal son you can see his character clearly that he's a God that loves intimacy with his children. When the prodigal son left, the dad was literally waiting for him in the Bible, in the word of God, that you are not believing. Daddy, Father God himself, he said, if you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. Meaning that if you say, I want to be intimate with you, you will be able to be intimate with him our encouragement for us this morning is to know and know beyond a shadow of doubt that you can be intimate with daddy he is very available one of the greatest characteristics he has 
among every other God. We do not compare him, but if we had to compare him, it would be that he is very relational. He's very intimate. You can know him to the point where you say, I know God. And he can in turn reveal himself to you to the point where you can say, I know him. Glory to God. Get intimate with daddy. Know him personally. And tell everyone else that, hey, God is an intimate God. Glory to God. Yes, daddy is. Is the God of intimacy. Amen. Our further reading this morning is going to be in the book of James. I hope you've been doing your further reading. Have you been learning from the book of James? It is an amazing book, right? This morning we're going to read James chapter 3. We're going to be studying from James chapter 3 from verse 1 to 6. James chapter 3, 1 to 6. Have an amazing read. Gain understanding, gain revelation. We pray for you that you have an amazing, outstanding day. In Jesus' name, stay in Joyville. Joyville is the best address. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Amen.